And now it's time to see what's coming out today for our media partner at the Baltimore Banner. Lillian Reed is joining us this morning to discuss how changes to the National Association of Realtors and the policies and practices that they're uh, being impacted by will affect the real estate market. Lillian, thank you for joining us. Thanks so much for having me. So tell us about this, uh, the changes. We've been hearing about them. We've been talking about them in the news. What is the difference? So the changes went into effect on August 17th, and they are specifically tied to a class action lawsuit that was filed against the National Association of Realtors. So the lawsuit alleged that the trade organization's policies and practices had inflated the compensation rates at the expense of sellers. And the association denies any wrongdoing, but they've agreed to make these changes in order to settle the lawsuit. And the changes are really designed to increase transparency for the buyers and sellers and to emphasize their right to negotiate over compensation. And so what does this mean for buyers or sellers in Maryland? So part of the settlement um, emphasizes the client's right to negotiate with their agent over commission rates and to get those details specifically in writing before they ever set foot in the house. Um, Maryland has already had a law on the books since about 2016 requiring that, but one thing that is new has to do with a practice called cooperative compensation. Um, and that's when a seller's agent usually splits a commission with the buyer's agent. So this settlement agreement changes the way properties are advertised. Um, listings can no longer include that blanket offer of cooperative compensation to a prospective buyer's agent. So are you writing about any of the tips for negotiating the commission rates for the agents? Yes, yeah. So I spoke with a few experts and they had a lot of recommendations. Um, the first is to interview multiple agents before signing any agreement. Don't rush into a decision just because you've got your eye on a specific house. Um, for buyers in particular, especially those who know that they may need a real estate attorney, um, sometimes the real estate attorney can end up handling a lot of the negotiations themselves and they may not even need an agent. And for sellers, sellers can actually negotiate down rates by taking on some of the tasks that an agent would normally perform, like maybe opening an open house, um, providing those high quality photos for the listing and writing your own description of the property. So those are ways to kind of take on some of the uh, additional responsibilities that agents are usually compensated for. All right. Thank you so much, Lillian. Very helpful. All right. And if you'd like to learn more about this story or more from the Baltimore Banner, just log on to thebaltimorebanner.com.